there are some theories that are very interesting that one of them says for example that if there was life out there then they would already be here i think my paintings have a lot to do with music somehow for me it's more, much more like music on like two-dimensional music than, than anything else i think my paintings are really it might seem odd to somebody at first glance but they're really a complete expression on of everything that i stand for everything that i think Maybe what I'm doing is something like painting photographs of my imagination of what could be far away from, we are, from where we are living here. Not are your sources of inspiration? Everything I see is, goes in my little visual computer and comes out on the other side as painting somehow. I still remember the first times when I started looking into the, into the sky at night. And what you're really doing is you look into the universe. And when you give up this idea of the kid that this is the sky with all the little stars in there, you know, if all of a sudden you make this realization that that's not the case, this is just open space. There's no cupola up there with the stars pinned on it. And when you realize that, it's like, oh my God, <laughs> this is a universe. This is just stars pinned on the ceiling or something like that. This is the real thing. A very crucial moment in my in my painting. I was up in the mountains in Austria. And I was sitting there, looking at the sunset, how the sun moved down very slowly. And I mean, everybody has this idea or this feeling that the sun goes down, which of course is not true. The sun just stays there, and we turn. So the real situation would be that we slowly move backwards. So I was trying to really imagine that and get this feeling <laughs> slowly, like in a chair falling back or something like that. That was such a strange feeling to me that the next day I started painting suns and planets and I was just all of a sudden exploding, working like a mad person.
have been selected by NASA for about five or six assignments now. The first one was the first launch of the space shuttle. What's it like to witness a space shuttle launch? It's, it's visually, it's the most incredible thing, especially the night launch was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I think anything that, I mean, if I would see a volcano erupting at night, that might be it. But maybe not even that, because it was such an incredibly special moment to know that this is the beginning of a totally new age. What surfaces do you paint on? Skin, hair, teeth. <laughs> um, aluminum, canvas, paper. Describe an ordinary day in the life of Andreas Tadabai. Ordinary day. No, I don't have any ordinary days. <laughs> no, I, I think since I left school, I don't. And back then, even my days weren't ordinary. I don't mean ordinary. ordinary. I mean, what is a normal day? I'm I don't, sure have, you don't any have any normal, normal days. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'm fighting with this for the last, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do it again. <laughs> Just a painting. Oh, really? <laughs> Can't believe it. Every time I put this tape on something, it gets mm. tangled up, and I need something to make you know these lines there. Yeah. And it has to be practical, you know, and just check with this thing. We've got about 20, 30 lines in all directions on it. Yeah. In general, I can put this stuff on it, but it doesn't stick on the surface for some reason. Yeah. So I gotta make this makeshift well, thing, and it just drives me crazy! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they got that on tape. I mean, <laughs> 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 <laughs>